my name is Minnie Mintz, and today we're playing Escape from the Back Rooms. A uh, bunch of people asked me to play some more Back Rooms games, and here we are. Uh, I'm into the uh, the backlog of questionable quality ones, but uh, this one actually, this one was on sale and looked kind of interesting. I have no idea what this is about, by the way, other than the it was multiplayer, right? it is multiplayer, and that there are multiple levels to it. The Steam store page, I briefly looked over it, and it shows a bunch of different levels that look interesting. And there's monsters, apparently. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, really looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah. Let's start single player. Let's see how far we get. Let's start a new game. Main series, game one. There we go. Oh. <laughs> game one. Oh. Oh, okay. So we're in the back rooms. What is this place? Need to find a way out of here. Ah, uh, thing doesn't want us to escape. So I guess you have to fix the ladder. Oh, and there's us. We're in there. Suit. Horrible training lights. Uh, another one I did look at actually, uh, you had to use your mic for, and the monster could hear you, and I don't think it's this one. This one's more of a run around and see how far we get. With breath. Ah, it's just a standard maze. Got the, uh, the wallpaper, right? Kind of mouldy, stained carpets as well. Oh, and there's the uh, skirting board that doesn't quite match. <laughs> I hope this one's more uh, more handcrafted than because I have played some that have been generated with an algorithm, and it's generally a case of you can just keep going left or keep going right, and you'll eventually end up where you're supposed to go. But, uh, looks a bit more put together so far. Let's just hope we don't see the monster. And there's the exit. And we can lean. Okay. We can't get out. Yet. Let's say something about the ladder. Is there? Do we have any inventory items now? Okay. Oh, there's another letter. Okay, so it's behind us. Okay, that's where we need to go. I kind of have a, a good sense of direction but when it comes to like, oh, I know where this is. Okay, I'll mental map it out. So it's like back there. We're going to get to way out. Hopefully not get caught. Corners. It's glitchy scenery. <laughs> I thought I saw something. Ladder we've got to repair then. It's like on the opposite end of the this place. Uh, 
Ah, of course it is. Okay. And it doesn't... Okay, and there's the... Uh, there's the ladder out. Uh, oh, it's just to pick these up. Okay. Oh, gosh. So all the bits are, like, right there, then. That was very loud. <laughs> There's the last bits. There we go. Oh, and we just got... Oh, okay. So the... <laughs> we got from there was a key like I can follow the edges of the the right well continue it this way uh see if there's a door I guess that's all I see that's what it wants us to do I say something to my right Oh god. Oh, oh run away, run away, run away. End of mech tape. Okay. What is this place? I'll try that again. So you only get like one life or something, and then you have to redo the entire thing. Or do we have the key? Because there's no. The stone of entry. <gasps> okay, so we do have the key. We just have to get to the door without getting in court. This way. Keep an eye out for that thing. It is Q and E to balance yourself. Okay. Oh. Well, that's disorientating. we were supposed to go here anyway. Like, maybe. <gasps> Let's sound down a bit because it was... it's the actual monster sound effects that are very, very loud. <gasps> I'll make them. Uh, oh, I probably quiet them down in post because I honestly don't like jump scaring you guys or anyone so it's not it's not what I do I don't do jump scares Nope, 
Oh, oh, I'm going up. I'm going up. Okay. So you can go to the kitchen. Oh! So what do you do in this one? Ah, uh, check everyone's ID, you don't trust them. Oh gosh. So I, th I think check ID is R. In this one. Your card is C. Okay. It's pass. It's porridge. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the doors open. They come into contact with. Oh, come into contact with. ones we've been into and which ones we haven't. Uh, I'm gonna assume there's like a bit of paper in like these rooms and things that we're gonna have to try and find. I suppose I have like one part of the code on. Oh, have a soda. Flashlight. I'm not going to spam that, just because I don't want, I know people don't like that, I like bright lights. Does this mean that the monster's near if the lights start blinking? Number of cars. So somehow the, the colour of the cars is representative of... So it be... red would be two then? I see. And then blue would be two? It says two red and there's two blue. Okay, it's an interesting way. Uh, that's the exit sign. A very useful fire alarm right there. Almond water. Okay. It's more almond water. Um, I wonder if there is trading in this. I know there's one game that had like, it's like, oh, you could meet people and you could trade items. And that's like a, I think it's like a sanity and a thirst meter. That's like, oh, okay. That's uh, interesting. Oh. Okay. So it's red, red, blue, blue. Uh. It's level two. Let's use the torch for this level then. Almond water can restore your sanity. Uh, nobody. Ha oh wait, well. Okay. Oh, so it's like amnesia. Oh, dragon, drag to use, okay. I'm gonna keep the light on. Because I don't have a good feeling about this. That's another flashlight. I guess this is if, yeah, I guess it's like if you have um, multiple players. I quite like to play this with some other people, but that's the key. Right, oh, get the key. 
I don't think any of my friends would really want to play it. There we go. Key. Error. Uh, not really into horror games. <laughs> I like the back rooms. Oh. Not even my jam. Okay. Oh, be quiet. End of mech tape. <laughs> the enemy has survived losing their sanity. Um, okay, I, again, once again, too quick. Most games I play, it does this. More almond water. Wow, you lose everything. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. So means we don't have the torch anymore. Is this is this trial and error then? Do you have to just keep throwing yourself at it? So you eventually find like an exit. Can I have for the monster again? Excuse me. Get out. Okay, so I see these little out, these little places are spread away, it's best to hide. What's going on, demons? Oh, here he comes. Is there no way around this? Do you just have to run past him or kite him? That, that kind of seems like bad game design. If, if, uh, if the monsters are always just going to be right at the exit, that's where you got to go. Another key. Wait, we need two keys. He's gonna chase us. I know he will. Torch, so how's the sound you're looking? That's oh, okay. This one gets to about half. We gotta stop worrying. It looks more like an electronics room. Oh, yeah, and I guess, the, yeah, there's torches because, like, everybody would need them if you're playing multiplayer. The door's open. Uh, just so I know that they're there. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like this. Is it man hole? I think we can get inside that. Oh no. Something makes me think that there's. It's gonna be something spooky. Oh. Maybe we gotta go down. Hopefully. I'm hoping this is like just a straight run. The end. Wait, what? And then behind one of these doors, I, I, oh, I know it. the end was around there then. Is that where the, that's where the guy was? Right, let's get into it. Let's try and grab me some more water. Pop a cold one out for you guys. <laughs> um, we'll grab another one just in case. Oh, that, there we go. Well then, demons, where are you? Oh. <sighs> Maybe that's where we're supposed to. Yeah, there we go. At least we're out. Out of that place. So... What's this? Stay in the light. Oh. So I guess it's like a clown level or something. they smiley faces. I'd rather, rather hit the exit. Find the exit, the hype. Oh, hybrid zone and single player. Oh, okay. So, do these take us to like different levels or something? Level 37, level 94, and... Uh, I guess like... Oh, it's probably like the hub world then. 7, 9, oh? 9, 3, 3, 3, oh, 3, 9, 9, 9, 9. Uh, if I know my backroom's law... There should be a guy that like wants this place, and you have to, and he, you have to give him something, and he will give you a key and take you to the room that you want to go to. Like if you don't, like you have to give him something personal to you, and then if you don't, if uh, if you don't have anything to give him, he like kind of takes your sanity or memories and things. It's a kind of a weird one. Security check. Oh, okay. 
I see, so you're just gonna like link them up. There we go. Oh, so uh, I guess it's like a hub world then. Oh, that's bright. Put all the lights on, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh. The actual, oh, okay, there we go. I came pixels, this one. Password. Oh, I guess we don't know the password yet. Oh, that's, um... Oh, that's Commodore 64 prompt. Oh, okay. Very, very, very old computer. I doubt most people will know what a Commodore 64 is. Ah, uh, gosh. We had a second-hand one. Fair enough. Just take a... Let's take about half an hour to load up a, a game that was, like... 20 kilobytes. Because <laughs> you have to load it off a cassette tape. <laughs> oh dear. I heard you. Oh, it heard you. Okay. So I guess that's the password. Oh, there we go. I guess there's like all encrypted files. Uh, level zero. Oh, okay. Past is escape. So maybe this is like leaderboards then. No. Gate.exe. Oh, okay. Uh, to protect our survivors, we've placed this restricted area in high security mode. Do you want to unlock the restricted area mode? Go on then, why not? If we lock the high security gates, proceed with caution. Nobody is authorized before the rescue missions. Ah, don't show that warning again. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. It's all good. What time is it? 3.30. Okay, so we got that puzzle solved. Security clearance. Let's go in. Oh no, I don't like this. So... Hey. Okay, I'm in the light. Can't do anything now. Poland. Oh. It's not great. I can't tell if it's anything in there. Empty box. So look at those things. Oh, okay, so those things will move towards you if they, if they get too close. I'll take this. I'll take the pipes. Fun or station? Let's try the station. I hope the, uh, the pool rooms is in this one. I love the pool rooms. <laughs> the pool rooms is like my favourite. I can't help but feel that there's someone behind us. I guess if you like pipes, then uh, 
This is a pipe dream. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Is this sand or does it just keep going? Feels like we're just leaving back on ourselves. Oh, there's a flashlight. I don't like that sound, I need to run. That's what I'm doing. Now you decide to not have any stamina. Should have turned. I don't look at it. Oh, it's that thing. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we get out of there. See where this takes us. Hopefully it's the pool rooms. I really want to get the pool rooms. <laughs> uh... Looking for generators or something, switches. That's oh, an ATM. So we're going to get chased or something when we do this. And it seems like something this game would do. And then you have to click all the switches. You get caught. Switches all day. So we can't get into there yet. Then that one. I think maybe we've missed some. Oh, this looks like a place you could hide. Like, totally a place you could hide. Okay, we're on the other side of that. Oh, oh, 
there it is. Oh god. It's right there, I saw it. Ugh. Oh, it's like a human face. Oh. Let's lock it in. I think that that was that was the last one. Maybe. I know there was a dog doggo thing then. There was one around here. Maybe it's like kind of despawned. Uh, I'll go check the power thing. Let's see how many we got left. Because I'm pretty sure I got them all. <laughs> so you're <she> right. <laughs> He went in the electric water, and he just got shocked. <laughs> okay, so I, I, th I think I've, I've had enough of this for now. Uh, escape the back rooms. Okay, let's take a quick look. How many levels there are? There, there, there is actually quite a lot of levels to this. Um, it's habitable so that's Pipe Dream. The electrical station, which is where we were at. Um, Abandoned offices, um, Terra Hotel, uh, Level Fun, which probably would have been a better one to go to. I think Level Fun leads into the poor rooms. Uh, yeah, oh, let's look at the screenshots for the poor rooms. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh gosh, so this uh, when we have to run. It's like that big corridor with the red light in it. I can't remember the name of that one. It's there. Level 92, there's level 94, which is like an outside one. Um, oh, there's the Thalassophobia one, which is you know, where everything's underwater and you're in like a giant ocean. Uh, I think there's like moth ones. Again, it's, this game's in early access, there's like a whole ton of levels. Uh, it's designed to be played with other people, like, but there is I guess, a single player option, which is what I've played. Um, if I were to play more of this, it would be with other people. I think maybe I'll ask one of my friends if they'll play it, but I, I, I very much doubt they want to. Because their horror games not that kind of thing. Uh, maybe in the future, if uh, when I get the Discord sorted out, if it hasn't been already, but then yeah, I guess we can play it in the VC. Like, it would be nice to play it, like, I think most of it at least, or at least get to the pool rooms. Yeah, that was it. That one was alright. It wasn't wasn't terrible. Definitely, definitely in an early access state. Uh, the graphics were pretty good. Uh, they, oh, considering you know backwards games, uh, some some of the ones I've seen are not great. I I would like there to be an option to just disable all the entities. Uh, the developers probably not going to see this video or make it or even make it this far if they do watch it. But yeah. If they do, I, I would like uh, some, some feedback I would like. Well, that's uh, some feedback would be... It kind of feels like the monsters were put in like very specific points. Like, right near the end of the, each level. And they're designed to just make you restart each time. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I would like... I'd kind of like a, a mode without without the monsters. Um, also, the flashing lights, the flashing and flickering lights, and very reflective lights. Uh, if there's an option to like kind of turn those down, like you know, turn off blue, uh, that would be great. So I, I do get a. So people have asked about this uh, to put like the flashing lights warnings on, and I try my best to do them. <laughs> Uh, it's also a bit of a bit of a job in editing. Should I make like a seamless transition 
when they happen. Sometimes it's not always possible. You know, it's always appreciated when uh, they have those options. Like, like if I go into the, it's, it's, like if I go into the options site and I go into game, I turned off the head bobbing. I turned off the VHS effect. And, and the motion blur. Because, like, th those are the things that kind of. They, other than messing with YouTube compression, <laughs> uh, they kind of give people a bit of a headache. It's nice that they're there, but some, a few more options would be great as well. But other than that, like, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good game. So, yeah, if, uh, if you'd like to play this one yourself, there will be a link in the description. It's over on Steam and early access. I think I paid like five pounds for it in the sale. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of Spooky Month. This is probably going to be an extra video. Uh, hit like if you like. Uh, check out my play. Uh, check out all the other content that's on the channel. Like it's all in it's all organised in playlists. If you're watching this at the time it gets uploaded, we're currently doing Spooky Month, so there's a bunch of Spooky Month content to look forward to. And if you don't make it this far to the video, yeah, I've got a. Got some extra, some extra back rooms and liminal spaces and things in the works. No spoilers though. <laughs> yeah, other than that, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!